Okay, number one. Amy's dog had eight puppies. She gave five puppies to her friend and one to her grandmother. How many puppies does Amy have now? Sophia, what question do I need to underline? <coughs> How many puppies does Amy have now? Leo, what's something that I need to bracket? Eight puppies. And she had eight puppies. What's something else I need to bracket, Marina? Okay, she gave five puppies to her friends. Is there anything else I need to bracket, Logan? No. Are you sure? Did she give a puppy to somebody else? Yep. To who, Logan? Mm -hmm. Her grandma, and she only gave one to her grandma. Okay, if Amy had eight puppies and she gave five to her friends and one to her grandma, Yazelle, is this a some some more story or a some some went away story? <laughs> It is a some someone away story. Um, Kira, how many puppies did Amy have in the beginning of our story? Eight. So just draw eight circles, please. Always double check. Baden, how many puppies did she give to her friends? Five. So we're going to start there. You're going to cross off your five. How many puppies did she give to Grandma? Daniela? One. One. How many puppies did she give away all together? Adeline, how many puppies did she give away all together? Look at how many you crossed out. Six. Six. So what will my number sentence be? What will my number sentence be? Braxton, what will my number sentence be? How many puppies did she have at the beginning? Eight, we can abbreviate puppies in our number sentence right now as P. Eight P minus, Adeline told us that she had six puppies all together, minus six P. How many puppies does Amy get to keep? Mario. How many puppies does Amy get to keep? Well, you didn't draw the picture and you didn't cross them off. Lily, how many puppies does Amy get to keep? Two. Two. So 8P minus 2P equals, or I'm sorry, 8P minus 6P equals 2P. And then you need to spell out puppies in the number sentence. Okay, I need for you to just stand, push in your chairs, make sure your masks are on. We're going to line up and go 